Hi, my name is CKJ and welcome to the first video of CKJ World on Adobe CQ5. So not going to take much time of your here we are starting with the creation of first page component in CQ5. So I expect that you are already having the Excel CRXD like. So first of all we will create a folder called whatever the project name you are having. Let's create a project over here. So our project one is the new folder which is the project name of uh, our first CQ project and now we have to create two more folders inside this folder. One will be components another will be templates. Inside templates we will be creating the template which we can use in our page and inside component we will be creating components which will be called by the templates for this page. So let's go and first of all create a folder, a new template. So click on the create template, give any name to it. Let's take sample template. You can leave the other section description but if you want you can put anything it's not mandatory okay the most important thing is here resource type resource type is the place where we will be uh, giving the reference for our component so that in our page template you can use the component and inside component we can provide whatever the features we want so uh, right now we haven't created the component but let's uh, give provide a demo name for it so what I will provide it here, project one, then components. Okay, then most probably my page component will be inside another new page folder, and then I can provide a name. So let's provide a name sample component. Okay. In ranking you can provide any ranking you want if you want you can leave it as it is okay the next thing is allowed paths allowed paths uh, here actually we are giving providing the access that which folders can access this um, template or this component so basically our pages will be created inside content folder so we will be providing access to content as well as the folders or pages inside component inside content sorry so this is basically a regular expression which I have used here so it will be allowing the folders and the subfolder inside contents to access this template so here we are done with our template creation let's do the remaining work inside component inside content I will create a content like uh, different different kind of application kind of components and then inside page we will be creating the page components so we are going to create our component now here let's create a component we have provided sample component I guess is the name for this component then next thing we can leave uh, right now blank I'll tell you what are the features or what are the uses of the other folders so congratulations your first component page component is created so if you see the code here there will be a demo uh, default code which will be using the library global.csp so this is just a starting let me use the basic syntax of programming
So I haven't done any coding till now. Now I'm going to use this component in my CRXT. So this is a uh, this is a place from where we can create new pages. I'll be creating a new page. Let me create on this. So can you find can you see the new template what we have created here? Is it there? Yes. This one is our template which we have created. So we will select this template. Now you can access your page. And it's working. So this was the first video and I hope you might have liked this. If you liked, let me know. I will provide you the more details on this video. Thanks and have a great time. Welcome back to CQJ World. In our last session, we have created this demo page in CQ. Now we are going to enhance this page as well as we are going to add CSS, JS, and also enable the sidekick. Our page, this is the CRXT Lite. This is the sample component.js code. Uh, before doing any changes, uh, we will have to structure this code. Uh, we need to add the doc type HTML and most important thing is the head.jsp we will have to add what is head.jsp? head.jsp is having the basic files and the configuration through which you can use your CSS JS library that is the client list and also it will enable your uh, sidekick so just have a quick look on head.jsp it will reside inside libs folder the foundations pages folder um, this is the code which will enable your sidekick if you want to override the head.jsp, you just need to copy this file, put it inside your component and it will override the head.jsp. Then you can edit any anything you want in your head.jsp. So that, that is what I have created now. Uh, let me save it. I have saved it. One more thing I have added here is the CQ cell name property. Um, you can name it whatever you want. Let me tell you what is the use of adding CQ cell name. <coughs> CQ cell name will be uh, is whatever the name you are providing. There you can edit the page structure. Like if you have added this parses, you have provided the path name. So uh, you can use par anywhere in any of your page component. But before that, you will have to create this home. Where you can create it, you can create at the same place where your etc designs exist. Uh, before doing this, let me create the design folder. For creating design folder, you need to go to CQ Tools, Designs. Once you are inside design, you can create new page. Name the new page as your project name. I have named it as my project name, what was project fund. Then I added one CSS library, static.css. Inside client lib, I added my CSS images, JS. All those references I can, whatever the name I will be providing here, I can use it in my code. So again, go back to CRXT Lite. Go back to etc designs. Here I am in etc designs. Now you will see that this folder, what I have created in tools, will exist here. It having, it's having all the files what I have created or I uploaded it's everything is here now the important thing is the GCR content it will be uh, by default present in the project one but this thing home I have added uh, home as I told you CQ cell row name is was at that time was the home so the same name node I have created here then inside it I created one component only par what I have used in this uh, path name par for the parses so this thing is very much mandatory so that's what I have done now go back to templates go back to the JCR content of templates and add this property called CQ design path string Provide the design on location that was etc designs project one and save the whole project. Create a new page since older page won't be having the changes of the template. So I will create a new page sample template. Let me create this one. Go back to the page. 
okay so now you can see the page style has changed uh, it's having this parses so from sidekick you can drag and drop any of the components here and can uh, use uh, it as a coding let me show you one quick example so it's working now everything is fine uh, my project one is also listed here because when I created uh, my page structure in the JCR content that is was home bar inside the bar I have provided the components group as the general as well as project one so uh, until unless you are not adding any component inside your project one component group you can't see this component group listed in the sidekick now why this project one was appearing in sidekick because in my project inside the content I have already added one component called text image which is having the component group as project one and this component was working fine so that's why it's appearing here if you can see you will see after clicking on project one I can see my component I can drag and drop it and can use it and edit it anything whatever I want so this is how it works in the CQ hope you like this video please subscribe and leave your comment and feedback and we'll get for watching this video and have a great day